In this video of C language, we are going to start a very important concept that is pointers. Basically, you will not find this particular topic in all the other programming languages. Only some specialized languages like C and C++ have the concepts of pointers. So, let's see what this concept is exactly all about. So basically, when we define some variable, we used to store some value into it. Either we take the input from the user using the methods like scanf or we can take the value from the programmer at the time of coding. But if I'll define any variable of pointer type, that means it will be storing the address of some other variable. Like it does not store the value specifically but the address of any other variable can be stored by a pointer in this particular manner you can actually say like pointer is a specific data type which stores the address type of value so far during the implementation when we used to work with scanf we noticed like using ampersand operator we actually point to the address so whatever value comes through scanf went to a particular location. Now when we talk about pointers, we will actually use this ampersand operator itself in order to take the address of a particular variable and we will store the address in some other pointer kind of variable. We can also use pointer in cases of dynamic memory allocation. So whenever you want any dynamic memory allocation means you want to allocate some memory during the execution of program, you can do that again using the pointer itself. We will cover a separate chapter in which we will see how to allocate the memory during the execution time. Now let's get started with the concept a bit like here in this particular program you can see there are a couple of variables in which one is a normal integer time kind of variable and the another one is an array. So when we have worked with array we saw like there are some number of blocks altogether and each block has a particular index which starts with a zero. So here you can see if I wanted to get the value of uh, var1 means the address of var1 what we did we did ampersand var1. So this will print the address in the hexadecimal format because we have put the percent %x symbol which is the best representation for the address kind of value. You can also use percent %d if you want to get in a number format and specifically we do have one more format specifier for pointer which is percent %p. So in this particular example and what we will do we will use the percent %x format specifier. Now. In the second case, what you can see is address of var2 variable percent %x var2. Here you observe like we have not put the var2 with ampersand symbol. Why? Because var2 is what? It is the name of an array. And name of an array is itself a constant pointer which stores the address of the 0th index block. Means it stores the address of the base location. Base location means from where your array is getting started. For example, if it is a character array, character take 1 bytes each. If the base address is 20, then next block will be 21, 22, 23. So you can calculate the other block's address on that particular basis. So var2 means any particular name of the array every time when you will be working in C, you will notice like name of an array is nothing but a constant pointer which stores the address of the base location, base block. Now here let's see something more about pointers like how to define it as we have already uh, uh, seen like a pointer is a variable whose value is the address of another variable means here C language has the concept because of the pointer, it has the power to access the memory directly. So how to define a pointer in that case? Like here you can see int asterisk, whenever you want to define a pointer, you can just define that using asterisk symbol, alright? That will create the address, that is 
IP, integer pointer, double pointer, float pointer and character pointer. Just doesn't matter which kind of data type is that. If it is a pointer, it will store the address. And we have seen like in the different data types like in double float care, we have the different sizes. They have different size for the memory allocation. But if it is a pointer, it is going to allocate the same memory. Doesn't matter whether it is integer or float or double or character. The pointer variable will occupy 8 bytes in the GCC compilers by default. So you will think like if it is going to allocate the same block size, if it is going to store the same kind of value which is address, why are we putting this data types in bit before like in double float care. So basically we will see in the coming videos whenever we want to do some arithmetic with the address or the pointer values these values will be used as a scaling factor. So we'll cover those particular things further but it's just a syntax like if you want to store the integer address you will use integer pointer. So data type as to symbol and then the name of pointer and when you want to store the address of a pointer you can simply use ampersand. So here you can see like var20 is a variable storing value 20 inside it. Now after that I have defined an integer pointer and how to assign the address into that ip is equal to ampersand var. So what is this ampersand var? It is storing the address of the variable in this integer pointer and further you can simply print that. So rather than discussing them here, let's see practically how to get started with the implementation of pointers in C language. So in this basic implementation of pointers, you can see I have started by defining the variables like here integer, double and character are the variables which I defined with the name i, d and c respectively with the respective values. Later, I have defined the pointers of all the three types that is IP, integer pointer, DP, double pointer and CP character pointer and using ampersand symbol, I have simply assigned the addresses of the respective variables to the respective pointers. After that, I am just doing the reading process like in the first three statements, you can see I have printed the value of I, D and C that is the uh, variable values using the particular format specifiers and the variable names. So if I'll check value of i, d and c is getting printed. All right. Now in the next three statements, I have printed the address. So you can see for printing the address, I have used percent %x format specifier. You can also go for percent %p. So here address of i, d and c got printed means the value of ip, dp and cp which are nothing but the pointer values. So if I'll execute it again, you can see the address got printed. All right. It's in hexadecimal format. Now, if I will consider the size of these three variables, i, d and c, you will find since they are of different data type and can contain the value of different type, the sizes will be varying means i which is of integer type is occupying 4 bytes, double occupying 8 bytes and character occupying 1 byte. But if I will give the same look to the pointers, the size of all the pointers will be same. That is size of ip, dp and cp will be same. So let's see what is the size here. So size is 8 bits, 8 bits and 8 bits. So as I said, like pointer are just storing the address and doesn't matter the size of value, the size of address will remain same, doesn't matter which type of value is stored. And after that, if I want to read the value which is stored at a particular location, I can use this asterisk symbol in order to get the value which is stored in this particular address as we discussed already. So here I have printed asterisk. So in the last three statements, let's see what is printed. The value stored at this address is 10, which is of I address, 
value stored at this is this and value stored at this is this so it doesn't matter uh, you particularly don't need to access the variable names only you can also access the value through the particular pointers which are containing the address of the variables